Mars returns to direct motion at 8 degrees 7 minutes Gemini on January 13, 2023. As I've pointed out in other videos, Mars is making its direct station on the Contra Antician of the Saturn-Pluto conjunction of 2020, which occurred at 22 degrees 46 minutes Capricorn. This acts like an opposition of Mars to Saturn and Pluto, a very rebellious opposition, as we're seeing from events around the world. And the latest protests against authoritarian rule are in China. Welcome to Global Trends and Cycles. I'm Marie Schuppel, bringing you astrological forecasts on geopolitics and your personal life. This Mars-Saturn-Pluto setup is especially significant for China, as China has a configuration in its natal chart that involves 22 degrees Capricorn. As I pointed out in my book, The Dragon's Debt, published in 2018, this configuration was set to be powerfully triggered by the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, indicating protests in China between May and December 2019. This came to pass as Hong Kong resisted more authoritarian rule and violent protests broke out in June 2019, leading to a harsh clampdown on the democratic movement there. And as I also explain in my book, this configuration was triggered in 1989, leading to the Tiananmen Square protests and massacre. And this configuration is now being triggered again against the backdrop of transiting Pluto and Uranus conjoining sensitive points in China's chart. China has natal Jupiter at 22 degrees 35 minutes Capricorn, so the Saturn-Pluto conjunction conjoined its Jupiter in 2020. But China also has natal Chiron at 5 degrees 29 minutes Sagittarius which is very close to the Antician point of its natal Jupiter. That Antician position is 7 degrees 25 minutes Sagittarius, and Mars resuming direct motion at 8 degrees Gemini will oppose that Antician position, releasing much pent-up frustration and anger. This natal configuration involving Jupiter and Chiron reveals that the Chinese Communist Party is very sensitive to protests or strikes by the labor force. In fact, it indicates that controlling and corralling China's labor force is the party's Achilles heel. And transiting Mars is a powerful factor in 2023 in another way. Transiting Mars will be in a similar location in the Zodiac in 2023 as it was during the, the Tiananmen Square protests, moving through Cancer. As transiting Mars moved through Cancer in May and June 1989, it made exact aspects to natal Uranus, the progressed Moon, and transiting Uranus. Mars showed violence inflicted upon the masses. The Moon always represents the general population and even more so in China's case, as the natal moon is conjunct the ascendant, another point that indicates the country's populace. This violence had its source in the government. Scorpio, ruled by Mars, is on the cusp of the 10th house. Mars will enter Cancer on March 25, 2023. Transiting Pluto enters Aquarius on March 23rd, moving to conjoin China's ascendant 1 degree 44 minutes Aquarius. On April 1st, progressed Mercury 3 degrees 27 minutes Capricorn exactly opposes progressed Uranus 3 degrees 27 minutes Cancer, and transiting Mars exactly conjoins progressed Uranus. This is an explosive combination. Note that Virgo Mercury rules the eighth house of transformation. Thus progressed Mercury opposing progressed Uranus 
a revolutionary planet in its own right, indicates the release of powerful energies in the form of demands for change. Reinforcing this time period as when protests gape momentum and reach the breaking point is the progressed moon, zero degrees Libra in the eighth house on April 1st, forming a T-square with the progressed Mercury-Uranus opposition. March through June 2023 will see violent and volatile protests in China. But with transiting Mars having just stationed direct at 8 degrees Gemini, triggering both the Saturn-Pluto conjunction of 2020 and China's natal jupiter chiron configuration, the government will strike back hard against any protests. In some respects, this is due to different leadership at the top now as compared to 1989. Deng Xiaoping hesitated to suppress the protests in 1989, but Xi Jinping, with his natal Sun-Pluto exact parallel, will viciously punch back immediately. But as Mars moves forward in Cancer, it conjoins the natal Sun Mars Pluto conjunction at 8 degrees Cancer of the chart for the Chinese Communist Party, a configuration that indicates obsession with gaining and retaining control over others. Just because Mars is passing over this configuration doesn't mean suppression of rebellion, as Mars moves through Cancer every two years. It's the addition of other configurations, especially involving Uranus and Pluto, that make the 2023 pass of Mars in Cancer so significant. The Sun-Jupiter conjunction in Aries on the same day will make the party leaders overly confident and heavy-handed. The backdrop of the transiting outer planets is very telling. Pluto is passing over China's ascendant and will spend many years moving through China's first house. Such a Pluto transit can be very liberating and at the same time very traumatic. Just ask anyone who's had Pluto pass over their ascendant or sun in their lifetime. At the same time, transiting Uranus in the late degrees of Taurus is passing over the cusp of China's fourth house. The fourth house represents opposition to the established government. These two influences occurring together over a long period of time indicate important changes in Chinese society and politics. Note also that in March through June 2023, the transiting nodes moving through 5 degrees to 0 degrees Taurus Scorpio are forming a T-square with transiting Pluto on the cusp of Aquarius. Remember, the nodes move backward through the zodiac. Thus, they also form a T-square with China's ascendant. Conjunctions and squares by the nodes to the outer planets and important natal points indicate a time of decision, a turning point. The nodes will also form T-squares with China's progressed Jupiter, 2 degrees Aquarius, and natal Moon, 3 degrees Aquarius. The decisions made and the actions taken are repressive of ordinary Chinese citizens. Perhaps even more important are the configuration in Xi Jinping's natal chart in 2023. Mars direct station at 8 degrees Gemini is conjunct his natal Jupiter, 8 degrees 27 minutes Gemini. With transiting Saturn, 23 degrees Aquarius opposing his natal Pluto, 21 degrees Leo, she faces very powerful opposition. But transiting Saturn forms a grand trine with his natal Sun, 23 degrees Gemini, progressed Jupiter, 22 Gemini, and his progressed Saturn, 23 degrees Libra. This indicates he maintains stern control publicly. It also makes him stubborn about his policies. This especially applies to his zero COVID policy, as the axis of the sixth and twelfth houses is involved, 
two houses associated with health issues and isolation. But other factors show that he is having a tough time behind the scenes. She may become aware of those who have been secretly working against him due to Mars' position in the 12th house of hidden enemies, conjoining natal Jupiter, ruler of the 7th house of open enemies. Anger is building inside him and around him, with Mercury, the ruler of his Gemini sun, in a natal conjunction with Uranus, and also in a progressed conjunction with Mars at this time. An abrupt about face is about to happen. She will rely on the instinctual reactions of his son Pluto parallel, meaning he will do all he can to oppress those who oppose him, however ruthless he must be to conquer them. She is a formidable opponent now, however, for not only does he have his natal sun Pluto parallel, which is exact, going for him, he's also in a period when his progressed Jupiter and progressed Pluto are parallel. But he's also facing a very subversive opponent, as transiting Pluto is contraparallel, his progressed Jupiter and Pluto. On February 15th through the 17th, 2023, his progressed Mercury and progressed Mars will be exactly conjunct at 15 degrees, 53 minutes Leo. This configuration is a strong indication of very vocal opposition to his rule at this time. She interprets any protests as a personal assault, and in many ways, the protests are directed against his rule. The progressed Mercury-Mars conjunction is a nasty setup, indicating impulsive and vicious actions. Re with regard to his opponent behind the scenes, she may be thrashing in the dark, unable to strike this opponent. Yet she has the upper hand, as at this time, on February 17th, the transiting Sun-Saturn conjunction, at 27 degrees 44 minutes Aquarius, conjoins the midheaven of this sunrise chart and forms a grand trine with his natal sun, 23 degrees Gemini, and natal Saturn-Neptune conjunction, 21-22 degrees Libra. He may be able to consolidate even more power around himself under this grand trine, using the protests and his strong response to snuff them out as proof that he alone can lead China effectively. And the trine to his natal Saturn-Neptune conjunction indicates he will use China's all-seeing, all-knowing, ubiquitous surveillance network to reinforce his position. But there's even more indication that she is heavy-handed with protesters at this time. As transiting Mars enters Cancer, it conjoins his natal Mars, zero degrees Cancer, on March 26th, upping the ante on aggressive behavior. Mars is debilitated in Cancer, so a harsh temperament is even more hard, evident and harder to control. Mr. Xi may react like a stern father, treating his countrymen like naughty children. Part of the reason she is so irritated by these protests is that he has other fish to fry, such as dealing with other opponents whom he can't control quite so easily. This is probably why he reacts so strongly and swiftly to the protests. It's a way to vent his frustration with these other opponents. These other fish are shown by a combination of influences operating in the background. His progressed Venus-Uranus conjunction at 22 degrees Cancer and transiting Uranus, making its direct station at 14 degrees 56 minutes Taurus, just as she's progressed Mercury-Mars conjunction is close to exact. First, let's look at transiting Uranus. The square of Uranus to progressed Mercury and Mars indicates a powerful obstacle coming out of left field 
was she ever reacting with force against what he sees as a limit on his exercise of power. Uranus goes direct on January 23, 2023, at 14 degrees, 56 minutes Taurus. Squaring, she's progressed Mercury and Mars as it does so. This Uranus triggers this progressed conjunction just as it is nearly exact, bringing an abrupt change of circumstances for she, and probably an equally abrupt reaction from him. Some protests are directed squarely at him as leader of China, rejecting his rule. A square configuration from a powerful transiting planet indicates one has to find a way to adapt in order to get around an obstacle. But Mr. Xi is not in a mood to adapt to anything while this configuration is in close orb and exact. Note that this progressed Mercury-Mars conjunction in Xi's chart is conjunct the Mars-Pluto conjunction in China's natal chart at 14 to 17 degrees Leo. Thus Xi's progressed conjunction triggers China's natal Mars-Pluto conjunction and transiting Uranus triggers it also. Mars with Pluto is a nasty combination. Just like the Mars-Pluto conjunction in the CCP chart, it indicates an obsession with control. Then there is Xi's natal Sun-Pluto parallel, which is exact. It indicates he feels entitled to exercising full control over others, and he'll use harsh tactics to get what he wants if others resist his control. This natal conjunction was also triggered in 1989. At that time, the trigger was transiting Pluto in Scorpio, squaring the natal conjunction in Leo. But this time, the configuration is more potent and also more volatile, due to Xi's progressed Mercury-Mars conjunction. Protests will be ruthlessly repressed. Activists inside and outside China should know this will be the case, considering the situation in Xinjiang that has continued for over 10 years. This configuration is most intense in its effect, especially with respect to protests from ordinary Chinese citizens, from mid-October 2022 through May 2023. It is most powerful in the few days surrounding the direct station of Uranus, which occurs on January 23rd. But she can't really relax after May 2023, as then transiting Uranus is moving to exactly square his NATO Pluto, 21 degrees, 13 minutes Leo. He'll face powerful yet secretive opposition, most likely from within the upper ranks of the CCP throughout most of 2023 and again in 2024. Popular protests won't help his efforts to maintain his position within the CCP. And as transiting Uranus is squaring Xi's Pluto, it is about to oppose China's midheaven, 23 degrees, 52 minutes Taurus. He may be able to put on a good face in public during this time, but despite his controlling the country's protests, he is in serious trouble within the CCP and the upper echelons of the CCP are the people who really control his position. She has many underhanded political power plays to navigate within the party, just as China is convulsing with frustration over economic problems, COVID lockdowns, and opposition to one-party rule. He will probably make serious mistakes in these power plays, as transiting Venus goes retrograde in July 2023, just as transiting Uranus squares his natal Pluto in Leo. This 2023 Venus retrograde will stir up protests again, as Venus will repeatedly pass over she's progressed Mercury and Mars. Now let's look at the progressed Venus-Uranus conjunction in she's chart, which occurred 
in 2022 at 21 degrees 11 minutes Cancer. It exactly squared his dadal Neptune 21 degrees 11 minutes Libra. He got what he wished for under this configuration, his third term as China's leader, but it will be fraught with corruption, deception, and scandal. The position of this progressed conjunction opposes the position of the Saturn-Pluto conjunction of 2020 at 22 degrees Capricorn. As mentioned earlier, Mars going direct at 8 degrees Gemini triggers the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. So it also triggers she's progressed Venus-Uranus conjunction. The entire Mars retrograde period and through May 2023 is a time of intense pressure on Xi. Opposition to his rule is actively challenged both on the streets by ordinary citizens and within the secretive cliques of the CCP. He may have to deal with some scandal in a very public way due to the square of natal Neptune with the progressed Venus-Uranus conjunction. She can't trust anyone at this point in his life due to this square. He may even find himself accused of corruption. But that progressed Venus-Uranus conjunction is very significant for another fish, or maybe shark, who Mr. Xi must contend with. This conjunction was exact on February 13th to the 17th, 2022. This was at the time of the 2022 Beijing Olympics, but even more importantly, it was when Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin, Russia's president, met in person and issued a joint statement that there were, quote, no limits to Sino-Russian cooperation, no forbidden zones. The square to natal Neptune indicates she was deceived by his frenemy, Vladimir Putin. But Mr. Xi may have been aware of the deception and was able to take advantage of Mr. Putin in the bargain. The long-term consequences of transiting Pluto, moving through China's first house, while transiting Uranus, moves through its fourth house, don't really favor a change to democracy and freedom of expression in China. In 2027, Uranus, 7 degrees Gemini, and Pluto, 7 degrees Aquarius, will form a grand trine with China's natal sun, 7 degrees Libra. This favors the leader of China as the sun represents the leader of a country. The established leadership is favored by this grand trine. But that doesn't mean the person being favored is Xi Jinping. 2027 is the year of the next party Congress meeting to determine leadership positions within the CCP. Note that in mid-April, 2027, transiting Jupiter and the South Node are conjunct at 17 degrees Leo, and they conjoin China's natal Pluto. Jupiter represents the Communist Party in China's chart. These configurations together indicate that tradition is maintained, in the sense that rule by party consensus is firmly back in style rather than rule being concentrated in one man. I'm so happy you could join me today. I hope this video gave you useful insights into China's long-term situation. Please subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I release new videos on Venus Retrograde for next year and other topics. Bye for now.